Hello you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends 6 inch Captain America Civil War phasing vision figure from Hasbro. Now this figure comes packaged in the same style that we see with all the Marvel Legends. You've got the black box with the Legend Series logo up at the top. The figure is clearly displayed there in the window box packaging. Then you've got the Captain America Civil War movie logo and the name of the character down below. On the sides of the packaging you've got some artwork for the character. On the back again you've got some artwork for the character and a brief bio in multiple languages. And then down below that, you've got to look at all the figures in the wave that you need to get in order to complete that Brothor build a figure. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging along with the other contents. Now, the only accessories that you get with this figure are the build a figure pieces. So, first of all, you get the torso section for the Brothor, and then you also get the Stormbreaker with this one. And I will be taking a look at the Brothor build a figure in its own review once I've looked at all the figures in this wave. So, be sure to check back for that. Okay, now for the figure itself. And in all honesty, this is my least favorite figure in the wave. And if you have the previous movie vision figure that they did in the Toys R Us 2 pack with the Scarlet Witch. There's really not enough new here to warrant getting it a second time in my opinion. You know, the only difference here is they've used some semi-translucent plastic on the figure as opposed to the solid plastic on the previous one. But otherwise, you know, these figures are exactly the same. Same hands, same capes, same uh, sculpting on the body and everything. So there's really no difference other than they use the translucent plastic. So that has affected some of the colors a little bit. You can see areas like the face and the glove and the boots are much more pink looking than on the previous figure and you know it's not a bad figure if you don't have the previous one then this one might be worth picking up but but again if you have that previous one I just don't think there's enough new here I think they could have even made the figure more transparent than they did you know here on the chest area it's very solid looking you know the light doesn't even shine through you know put the light on the back here so you can kind of see it going through the arms but there on the midsection everything it's very solid so i feel like if you're going to go with that translucent phasing effect they should have made the figure a little more clear looking than what they did and like i said you got the same texturing on the body and the same red stripes and everything so all that's identical. You've got the cape, which is pretty much identical. Even on the previous figure, the cape was semi-translucent. The yellow on this one is a little bit lighter shade. And then you still got the, the reddish pink stripes going down with that circuitry pattern on the cape, which looks good. But again, exactly the same as the previous figure. You've got the gold on the hands there. So, you know, as I said, at the end of the day, while it's not a bad figure, if you have the previous one, there's just really not much new here. And I've gone on and removed the cape, which all you need to do is just pop the head off and take that off. And again, you know, when you flash the light, you can see that it really doesn't shine through in the midsection there, just on the arms a bit. So again, definitely could have made this figure a little more transparent than what they did. And just like the previous figure, this one stands about six and a quarter inches tall. Once again, here's a comparison of the original Vision figure with the new and one. And here's a comparison of the Scarlet Witch, the one that came with the previous Vision. Now even though this is the exact same figure as the previous one, I will go over the articulation real quick. It's the same as the other one. You can turn the head to the left and the right. He can look down pretty good and then he can look up pretty good as well. You really don't get any head pivot with this one. With the arm, you can get the arm up good and you've got good rotation there at the shoulder. You get the bicep swivel. You get the double hinged elbow, so good bending there. And then you get the rotation with the hands and the hinges, so up and down movement. You get a midsection joint, so he can crunch forward about that much. And then he can look back really good as well. You get a waist swivel with the legs. He can do the splits that much. You can get the leg forward that much and then you can do the leg out and back. You get the thigh swivel, you get a double jointed knee, so good bending there at the knee, and then with the feet, you get up and down movement with the hinges, and you do get ankle pivot, and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. So yeah, like I said, this is my least favorite figure in the wave. If you have the previous vision, there's really not much point in getting this one, in my opinion. Even if you're a fan of transparent figures, I think they should have made this figure a little more clear looking. That would have added the cool appeal to it. But as it is, you know, I feel like this is just barely a different version of the one that we got previously. So, you know, other than getting the Thor build-a-figure pieces, I just don't see much point to it. 
Now this figure along with the rest of Wave has started to see a limited release. It, it should see a full release in October, early to mid-October. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And of course, you can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.